and they're out to impress as they compete to be baby ballroom champions. I'm feeling really nervous. If we fall down, it might be the end for us. They'll be dancing for three judges. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for these children. I like to see respect. And I want to see them think, yes, I did that. They'll decide who earns a place in the grand final. They're all here because they're the best of the best. They're all under 12 years old, but they're playing by grown-up rules. Dancers, the floor is yours. Please welcome your host, Kate Thornton. to Baby Ballroom, the championship. Over the next three weeks, you're going to see some of the most incredibly talented ballroom dancing kids in Britain. And like thousands of children up and down the UK, they ballroom dance every weekend, simply because they love it. And I should know, when I was their age, I was one of them. <laughs> now, I may have looked the part back then, but trust me, this lot are the real deal. They've all won countless competitions, awards and trophies, but now, only one of them can go on to win the title Baby Borum Champions for 2007. So, let's meet the first seven teams. Dancers, the floor is yours. <laughs> From Staffordshire, the green team, Kelsey and David. of our two heats and there are three guaranteed places up for grabs in the grand final and deciding who gets those places it's our expert ballroom dancing judges <laughs> our three judges have outstanding dancing credentials and know exactly what it takes to make a champion i know what these young people are going through i expect a lot from children i know what it's like to to stand in front of a judge panel and an audience. Bonnie Langford's been in the spotlight since she was just six years old. My career has been sort of 30-something years, and I'm still doing, really, what I loved doing when I was six years old. Alongside a long and varied television career, she's danced in starring roles in the West End and on Broadway. You can see when somebody's dancing from their heart, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. Former world champion dancer Pierre Dulaine is a boring legend. I was I think, I believe, at the time, one of the youngest champions. Pierre now devotes his life to teaching, and all over America, thousands of children learn ballroom as part of his dancing classrooms program. I like to see elegance. I like to see respect. His extraordinary life has been celebrated in two films, Mad Hot Ballroom and Take the Lead, in which Pierre was played by none other than movie star Antonio Banderas. The movie's made about my life. I mean, I, I, can, I can honestly cry. It's just, just unbelievable. And finally, Ray Quinn impressed us with his singing talent on The X Factor. But before he was a professional singer, Ray was a ballroom dancer. Bally, tap, modern, you name it, I've done it. <laughs> At the age of 11, Ray was ranked number one in the UK and second in the world. I just feel as if I've got a nice understanding for what they've gone through and 
you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not too much older than them, really. <laughs> Young people will always be their toughest critics. I was. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for these children. I want to see an energy through to the ends of their fingers and the tips of their toes. Whenever you're dancing on the floor, you are out for yourself and your partner, and that's it. You know? well, if someone gives me a little cheeky wink or a smile, I might just pop up the marks a little bit, because it's what I used to do. And I want to see them think, yes! Let me just check this. The number one ballroom dancing champ for the UK. Under 12s, yeah. Under 12s. And ranked joint second in the world. Yeah, British Open Championships, yeah. So tonight the tables are turned. Yeah, you're, exactly. you're not the one being judged, you're judging. I know. That's so how are, how are our boys and girls going to have to impress you tonight, Ray? Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm just looking for, you know, star quality, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, when I was a dancer, when I was, uh, when I was doing dancing ballroom in Latin, I, uh, the standard was very high, so I'm hoping the quality's still there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll look forward to hearing your comments. Okay, Bonnie, a national treasure. Now, <laughs> now there's not much you didn't know about entertaining an audience at the age these kids are at right now. So, mm. what are you hoping to see tonight, Bonnie? I'm hoping to see performance. That's what I'm here for, really, is for the dance performance. And that sort of quality that you have when you just can't help but get out on the floor and love every moment. And I want to be entranced by them. I want to see their energy and their enthusiasm and their sheer enjoyment of being out here and doing what they love. Wonderful. So, Pierre Dulaine, ladies and gents, <laughs> we are in the teaches at least 24,000 kids a year through his dance school. Not on his own, I hasten to add. No, 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 no. So, Pierre, get technical with this if you can. What should the people at home be looking for tonight, our armchair judges? Well, basically, we all have to, the audience at home, have to remember that this is a competition, first and foremost. And what I will be looking for is technique and uh, teamwork, energy, and a lot of fun. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Now. As Pierre just said there, he's going to be marking on technique, as will Bonnie and Ray, and also artistry. But our judges are also joined this evening by two licensed adjudicators from the British Dance Council, and they are the UK's recognised authority on ballroom dancing. And at the end of the show, both their marks and the judges' scores will be added together to find our three heat winners, who will go through to the grand final. So, enough talking, let's start moving. First to take to the floor tonight from Berkshire, it's Sophie and Jack. Hi, I'm Jack Llewellyn. And I'm Sophie Smith. What's really good about us is that we work together and we understand each other. The best things about Sophie is that she always follows my lead and she's very cute. Jack tries really hard and he makes me laugh a lot. A lot. <laughs> he loves being the centre of attention and loves it when he's got an audience. I'm just hoping that he doesn't <laughs> go a bit over the top. The hardest bit of cha-cha-cha is the technique. Every time we face each other, we've got to look at each other. And most of all, getting all the steps correct with footwork. I have been a dancer myself and know what they're going through, but obviously that probably makes me a bit overcritical at times. They're going to be against some very good dancers, but I just hope they enjoy the whole experience. We're going to do our best tonight. Well, we're not going to do our best. We're going to do more than our best. So I'd love them to win the, the show, um, purely because it's such a fantastic opportunity. To win this competition will mean so much. and It will mean it'll so like much. It will mean more than a dream. Yeah, mean more than a dream. Much. We'll be speechless, really. Satisfaction when we're done Satisfaction 
you the cha-cha-cha a latin american classic how did they do wow well to come out with the first one they certainly set it off i mean cha-cha-cha was my favorite dancer and i used to dance and uh, wow i mean so cute like really cute <laughs> and you having fun there wasn't you yeah. well done well done thank you very much <laughs> they've done exactly what i asked of them in that they've really shown how much fun it is out there and it's great because what I didn't want was them to have really fixed smiles and expressions and they didn't they were really working their way through the steps and through the different styles within there and getting quite groovy I must say thank you Bonnie Pierre ditto to everything Bonnie was saying but you know your great 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 personality well done good good teamwork working together for me uh, your arms were a little bit stiff from time to time as you were using them, uh, but good use of arms otherwise, but uh, very, very together. Well done. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Jackie. Well, all in all, some great colours there. Yeah. Jack, I know you love this dance, don't you? You love Latin yeah. American. What is it about Latin American dancing that makes you so happy? Really quick, sharp, and there's a lot of teamwork in that. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Yeah, who's, who's the leader of the pack here? Jack. Really? <laughs> You're the boss, Jack. Yeah. Is he a good boss? Not really, because he sometimes says stuff that's wrong and I'm right. Right. <laughs> Do you know what? Like most men, he will learn that women are normally always right. But for now, I think they made a great team. Let's hear it for our first team of the night. <laughs> Char put them through to the grand final. Well, we're one dance down with six more to go when Baby Ballroom, the championship, continues after this break. Coming up, six more superstar teams take to the floor. But who will win a place in the grand final? Find out on Baby Ballroom, the championship. We're going to see 14 teams of Britain's best ballroom dancing kids battling it out for the title of Baby Ballroom Champions for 2007. Now, so far tonight, we've enjoyed some Latin American, and now it's time for some classic ballroom. Danced by the white team, Alistair and Lauren from Kent. Hi, I'm Alistair Dykes. And I'm Lauren Ramsden. Dancing makes me feel happy. It makes me feel free and I can do what I want. I feel like just a normal kid, but doing something extraordinary. As a dance partner, Alistair is funny and talented. Lauren is a bit silly sometimes, but she's funny in her own way. She's a real tomboy, and then at weekends when she's dancing with Alistair, she's a little lady. We feel very proud when they're dancing. Yes, I'm always surprised at how confident they are. I certainly wasn't that at 11 and 10 years old. I hope my mum's not going to be crying, because if she's crying, I'll feel, feel a bit like I'm going to cry, because I know she's thinking he's dancing out here and trying his best to win. The hardest thing about Waltz 
is the shape and the posture. If we lost the posture and shape in a waltz, it would look very terrible and it would look a bit like this. Our mums are really going to be really nervous. They're probably more nervous than us. They want us to win this. This is a one in life chance and I don't want it to slip away. This is the best thing that's happened in our dancing career. So it's time to waltz. Now, great ballroom dancers make it look so easy, but what you're looking for at home now is long flowing moves, continuous turns and rise and fall. Good luck to the white team, Lauren and Alistair. The floor is yours! <laughs> While I give to you and you give to me true love, true love. So on and on it will always be true love, true love. Wonderful. How are you feeling? Fine. Yeah? <laughs> Get nervous? A bit. I bet you are. Were you pleased with that? Yeah. Yeah? Show me one of your winning smiles, please. There it is! <laughs> Bonnie, the waltz, how did they do? Well, I think they did extremely well. One thing that I would like to say, though, I'm a little concerned about your head and your shoulders and your just your upper body alignment. I think maybe that you need to find a slightly more comfortable position for you so that you're able to, to relax a little bit more on that upper body. But it was beautiful, and thank you. I enjoyed it a thank lot. Thank you, Bonnie. Is that helpful? Yeah. Can you check the comments there for you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's find out what Pierre thought. Great, great, great footwork and movement and flow. Wonderful partner, young man. And also for you, if I may suggest, your dance frame, your dance hold, your left arm is a little bit too far out. You know, it has to be, you know, right elbow, left elbow, the same height. So look to do that in the next few months, OK? Otherwise, very, very nice. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So a little nice work on the heads and the arms. Gray, would you like to add anything to that? Well, I thought you had a great connection, like, you never moved away from each other at all throughout the whole dance. I thought you had a great lead, absolutely lovely lead. And uh, overall, very, ele very elegant and uh, great footwork. Well Wonderful. Done. Thank you very much, Judge. <laughs> some great comments there that you can take away and work with. Would you agree with what the judges said there about your arms, Alistair? Yes, we, ha we have tried to work a bit on that and it seems that like it hasn't gone well tonight. But I hope we'll go away um, working better yeah. towards it. Let's hear it and raise the roof for our white team. It's Lauren and Alistair. Helpful comments from our judges there. And don't forget, there's still five more teams to dance tonight. And next up, they're from Merseyside. It's Kim and Josh. Hi, I'm Dossie Malone. And I'm Kimberly Jones. We're good partners because we're best friends and we just love to be around each other. We've been dancing for about 
two years, haven't we? Yeah, oh. it's really good because if you get on, you can like you get, you get used to each other and, and you can tell you what can each other's thinking. He wears all different cat types of cufflinks. That I think they're the they're my favourite ones. The hardest part in the quick step is the double reverse spin because you, there's two there's two people trying to dance as one, and it's a very really fast spin. If we mess that part up, we don't have to start again from the beginning. I mean, obviously, they are ranked very highly in Great Britain already in their own right, so we would be very disappointed if they didn't make the finals. I'd say it was a good opportunity, wasn't it? It's a you know, once in a lifetime. If we won this, this would just, it would mean the world to us. But well, I'd really like to win this, mostly because for my mum and dad, because they'll be so proud of me for winning it. I'm going to make sure that tonight I sew off a lot, because I like sewing off, and... Everybody knows that you like sewing off, Josh, so... Well, I just thought I'd mention it one more time. Just watch out for us, cos we're really cheeky. <laughs> across the floor. Blue team, Kim and Josh, the floor is yours. You, you're such a big star to me. You're everything I want to be. But just look in a hole. And I want you to get out. I don't know what there is to see But I know it's time for you to leave We're all just pushing along Trying to figure it out Oh, no, 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 no. Your anticipation pulls you down well, you can have it all You can have it all Josh, can I ask you, that's it, one either side. So, let's find out what the judges thought. Pierre, a world champion yourself. Oh, Your views, please. You know, they make it look so easy. Well done, well done, well done. Very, very good dance frame. <laughs> really very nice dance frame. Wonderful personality. Your teeth are showing right now. <laughs> Great. Um, good movement and footwork, and you really kept up on your toes except once. I saw Toto heel on a lock step. <gasps> Pierre! I'm sorry. Otherwise, very, very nice. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Great comments. Let's see if we can keep them coming. Ray. Well, you had me smiling all the way. I think you just got a great smile. Like, you just remind me of me. Like, that cheeky, I think it's great. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's a very hard dance. I found it hard when I did it. But, you know, you completely complimented each other. I thought you had a great hold once again. I agree with Pierre. Great leg work and just a lovely connection once again. Well done. Thank really, you really very good. much. enjoyed their musicality. I thought that they used the music very well and I thought they used the floor space extremely yeah. well. Mm -hmm. They really did move around. It's, you're absolutely right, it's easy to forget that these are young people. Yeah. But you know that's a good thing because we shouldn't be making excuses because you are the best of the best and we're very lucky to see you. You should be very proud of yourselves tonight. Yeah. I think you did a really good job. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> what great comments. Are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah I'm happy. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I know you've put a lot of time and practice in on this, haven't you? We've put a lot of practice in. Worth it, though? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I think it's really paid off, really paid off. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our blue team. They can relax for now. It's Tim and Josh. <laughs> We're heading now to Lancashire to meet our next team. It's Gabriella and Ben. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben Ace Fawcett. And I'm Gabriella Sandin. We started dancing about two years ago together. Well, what got us into it is my mum and dad have their own dance school. We're really proud of her. She's done really well. She's worked hard and her and Ben really work hard and they concentrate and try and sort of do the best they can. I didn't exactly know what Boring and Latin dancing was, so I just like, thought I'd have a go, and I just found out that I really liked it. And from that, he's just never stopped. In fact, he never stops dancing. It makes me sick sometimes. All these are my trophies. I think I've probably got about more than 50. This is my best trophy because I won it for Champions of Tomorrow 2007. The dance that we're doing is the jive, and the hardest bit is the two heel swivels because we've got two separate timings for it. We've got like slow, slow, and, and then, then it quick. speeds up afterwards. And then we just have to pause. We have to make sure that we get it right, or else to make sure we stand out tonight. I'm just, I'm just gonna dance it and let the cameras find me. When they're out there, it's up to them. It's, it's their sort of competition. It's not our competition. So they have to get out there and do it for them. We'll love to win this competition. And if we do, we'll be really, really happy. OK, we're about to drive, which means lots of kicks, lots of pace and loads of bounce. Yellow team, Gabriella and Ben, the floor is yours. <laughs> you excelled in, you were a former British champion with, with a dance like this. <laughs> How did they do? Well, I love the jive and I thought that was brilliant. You know, great song, brilliant song, great moves, loads of great moves. I thought you were really strong the way you pulled, pulled it through there. That was brilliant. Uh, and just, just very enjoyable, very charming and very cool. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. Demanding performances. I know about high energy performances, and they certainly gave one there. That was absolutely great. Very bouncy. Um, Gabriella, I want you to be a little bit more on the toes as well, on your on the balls of your feet, and not get those heels down in this particular <laughs> dance. But it was very bouncy, and you were very cute. You were giving lots of eye contact, but you were selling it quite a lot out front, what I call to us. And I'd like you to have a little bit together as well, because I know that you're great fun people. And I just think that you're wearing the perfect colour, yellow, because you bring sunshine to this dance floor. And that's great. Wonderful. Thank you, Bonnie. Now, Pierre, you've taught thousands 
thousands of children how to do this dance. How did these guys compare? Well, good footwork. For me, the timing was a little speedy sometimes. It's, I mean, it's such a hard dance to keep on the beat because you want to go, you want to go where you want to go. And uh, you were on the time, but not every single time. And so for me, that was a little off. So just be careful on that. I know you're excited. It's a big, big, big thing, but you've got to keep that. You've got to keep grounded, uh, smiling nicely. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a bit more eye contact from you, young man, towards your lady. But all in all, a pleasant and enjoyable performance. Very much so. Yeah, thank yes. you very much, judges. Very much so. <laughs> now, you guys, you guys work incredibly hard on this routine, I know. Did that rock and roll for you? Yeah. Yeah? You're quite happy with it? Yeah. And if you make it through to the final, you're going to take those notes on board? Yep. Yeah? Eye contact, that's it. Don't take your eyes off her, she's beautiful. <laughs> Let's hear it for them both. It's our yellow team, Gabriella and Ben. waiting to compete and then it's over to the judges to decide which three will definitely go through to the grand final and then we'll be asking you to get involved. We'll see you back here soon. <laughs> so far tonight four teams have already taken to the floor but there's still three more to come and up next it's Katie and Sam from Cleethorpes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Mark. And I'm Katie Moorcroft. Dancing makes me feel proud of myself and more confident. I get all excited at the dance. Both of our mums have said that they're really proud of us and it's not about winning. I just like watching them enjoy themselves. Because they enjoy it, we enjoy watching them. We probably do get more nervous than the children. Sometimes I might go back to Sam's house, but because he lives quite far away, we don't each other outside the dancing room. This is Mr Suck and it's mine and Sam's good luck charm when we go to competitions. Run look Sam and Katie for tonight's competition. The most thing we're nervous about is um, the timing and not forgetting the dance and doing it right. But how do we get into that? If we got the moves wrong, well, Sam would be doing the one thing and I'd be doing another and it wouldn't look very good on TV. As long as they enjoy it and they're happy with what they're doing. They want to continue, we will just support them. It'd be lovely to see them win it, of course. But just to see them on there is enough. Dancing's not just about dancing, it's about showing your personality. I really like to win the competition because it'll be my second competition I've won it, but um, we've always got to think about the taking part as well. for timing, control and bounce. Pink team, Katie and Sam, the floor is yours.
Well, let's find out what our judges thought of that. Now, Bonnie, you've danced with the greats. <laughs> Legends have shared your stage. How did these guys do? They did very well. I would like them to work on their partnership a bit more. Um, you've got lovely spins, great spins, and those hips are going. Lunges are very nice, very nice indeed. And I just want you to really enjoy it and go for it on the, you know, when you go further. Very nice. Uh, steps were just fine. Um, your teamwork could have been more together. And uh, for you, Kate, I would have liked you to have been uh, more with him. And who was that kiss at the end for? Was that for me? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was very, very nice. And instead of looking down on the floor, have more, a bit more eye contact with each other. It makes it personal, which awesome. is wonderful. Thank you very much, Pierre. Ray. Well, I thought it was very stylish. I thought you had great style, you know, and great hips. Like, I mean, that dance needs loads of hips, and you certainly had them indeed, so uh, well done. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Becky. <laughs> Let's hear it for our pink team. It's Katie and Sam. Just two dances to go before the judges' decision, and this time we're off to Austria via the West Midlands. Tackling the Viennese waltz, it's the purple team, Faye and Alex. Hello, I'm Alex Plant. And I'm Faye H. Alex is really nice and... And a good dancer. Good dancer, yeah. I think Faye is a very strong girl in her ankles and... Her arms. Between the two of us, I'm the buffy one. Sometimes it can be very annoying. Because <laughs> my dad and mum was professionals and they know a lot about dancing. Just watching those parents were sort of like going, oh, I hope they do really well. And then watching those professionals were thinking, are they doing the right things? Are they doing the right steps? They're both much better than we were at their age now. Biggest ambition is to carry on dancing as long as we can. And my my biggest ambition is to beat my dad and be the best in the world. The most thing I'm nervous about the Venus Waltz is um, keeping together and um, having your shape and keep turning. The most difficult thing about the Venus Waltz is keeping your head out because sometimes for the girl it starts aching. I just really want to win this competition because it will be everything to my family. Uh, we're going to do everything we can just to help them uh, to win the competition. If they do win it, I'll be over the moon. It'll be a great achievement for them. Any advice we can give them, we will give them so they can come out fighting. We're going to try really hard tonight because if we fall down, it might be the end for us. Continuous turns and elegant footwork. Purple team, Faye and Alex, the floor is yours. What's the Cat. I've got flowers and lots of flowers to spend with you. So go and powder your cute little pussycat nose. Pussycat, pussycat, I love you. Yes, I do. You and pussycat know. What's the Cat, you're so thrilling and I'm so willing to care for you. So go and make up your big little pussycat eyes. Pussycat, pussycat, I love you. Yes, I do. You and your pussycat eyes. You and your 
after that it is his stuff okay let's find out what the judges think now Pierre well the Venus Wars is really one of the harder although the steps are just left and right turns as you were seeing executed very nicely good flow good footwork uh, I just felt uh, from Faye again please just just you need to be, do a bit more work on your head leftwards it gets a bit too much like that sometimes just be aware of that and I wonder young man were you singing to your partner? No. <laughs> were yes, you? you were. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. Just, Is that against the rules, Pierre? Just be aware that, you know, we're judging your dancing here and would have been better from my point of view, only from my point of view, if you just smiled without lip sync the actual words. <laughs> <laughs> but that's... But well, let's, a very nice performance otherwise. Well done. Thank you very much, Pierre. Well, let's hear now from a man who likes to sing and dance at the same time, Ray. <laughs> well, I used to do it. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but doesn't no. it, for, for the most part, doesn't it help you to keep your time? Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. Especially, especially when people clap along, you can listen to that as well. So, uh, <laughs> But, I mean, it is a hard dance again. You know, it's hard to maintain a hold all the time and you do get really dizzy. But I thought you look great. So slick, very professional. I just think you're absolutely made for ballroom dancing. Wonderful, thank you, Ray. <laughs> Bonnie, the Viennese waltz, like the waltz, making it look easy is 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 cracking. It really is. That's it? it. It has to look effortless. And what they did there this evening was just beautiful. Wonderful. We felt safe in your hands, and we were just spinning with you. Although how you don't get giddy, I really don't know. But it was lovely. You really shone like a mirror ball. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Were you happy with those comments? Yes. Yes? Yeah, you're happy with those. Now, your dad, your dad was a professional ballroom dancer, wasn't he? Yes. Is he still a pro? Yeah, um, no. No, he's not a pro anymore. <laughs> An enthusiastic supporter, though. You've just been dissed on telly, by the way, Dad. <laughs> so, has Dad really taught you how all these moves work and, and, and given you your passion for ballroom dancing? No, it was my mum. Oh. <laughs> I think you've just lost yourself a lot of pocket money. <laughs> Everyone, make lots of noise for our purple team. It's Faye and Alex. <laughs> so there's just one more team to dance before the judges' decision. And so far tonight, we've cha chat we've waltzed, quick-step, jived, sambered, and even enjoyed a Viennese waltz. But now, we're fox-trotting with our green team, Kelsey and David. <laughs> Hi, I'm Davy Cockrum. And I'm Kelsey Fryer. Me and Kelsey have been dancing together for nine months now. We work as a team to make things right. When I do dance here, it just makes me feel, like, excited, and it, it just lets you know that all the hard work that you're doing is paying off. Our goal is to get to the top, but we just need to improve and to get there. there. And keep there. The most difficult thing in the fox trot is like the heel and toes. To miss the heels and toes, then it would cause like lumpiness. Like, lumpiness yeah. We know what we look like, and we do normally look graceful and smooth and tidy. I started off getting nervous, but now I just don't get nervous at all. I actually get probably more nervous than what the children do, but. They do a good job, and they don't let us down. I can be paying my mum and dad if I do really well, cos, like, they, they run me around up and down the country, and, like, they pay for me to do everything. This is the Heart of England trophy. Well, it's the biggest one we got. It feels when, when we win, it feels... It just feels great. Tonight it's going to be tough, but I reckon we can do it. They're going to go out and compete and dance for the best. And if they do well, they'll come back proud. We know everyone else that's like dancing out there, and they're good in a way. But I know, I know that we've got a good chance of winning. Being on Telly will give me a great opportunity to show people 
like that I have got a talent and that I am going to use it. The Fog Trot is a combination of walks and chases, but miss a beat and it's game over. So, green team, Kelsey and David, the floor is yours. Judges, a very complicated dance there. Did they master it? Uh, Ray, let's start with you. I thought, uh, you know, very polished performance, completely well rehearsed, been practising a lot. Yeah. How much practice have you been doing? Uh, about six nights a week. Wow! That's dedication. You Did can, it show? You can, yeah, you can really tell that, you know, it's really polished performance. I thought you had a great hold and great leg technique. You know, when you're going into the floor and stuff like that, I thought you did that really, really well. And you like the end bit, don't you? When you come yeah, away. Yeah, like the fancy bits. <laughs> <laughs> you like the fancy bits, I can tell that, because I do. Well done. Wonderful, thank you, Ray. Now, Bonnie, these guys are part of the British team. Did they do their team prayer tonight? I'm not surprised. I didn't know that before you performed, but I must say you do have an absolute natural ability. It seems very comfortable that you're on floor there. <laughs> Boys, and you have a great partnership. Kelsey, I want you to feel a little bit more relaxed in your facial expressions as well, that we really feel that you are living that dance, that you, together, that you're creating something that we must watch that's very special. Did that make very sense? Very well done. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Thanks mm. very much, Bonnie. Yeah. OK. Now, if there was ever a classic dance in the world of boredom dancing, it is the foxtrot. The slow foxtrot is the dance everyone has difficulty with and you performed it very 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 nicely both of you very good technique uh, for this difficult dance good flow and movement and wonderful control i'd like for you to be aware that you're very confident which is wonderful but be aware of not being overconfident because sometimes that can go against you with, 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 with people so uh, just just wonderful continue to grow you're great good thank luck. you very much so a resounding thumbs up from the judges Nice the week you've been practicing. Uh, it sounds to me like you pretty much dedicate your lives to dancing outside of school. Yeah, I live for dancing. Aww. Is that what you is that what you'd like to do when you grow up? You'd like to be a yeah, dancer? Dance teacher on the cruise ships. On a cruise ship? <laughs> Perhaps going on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously you're here tonight to win a place in the grand final. Do you think you did enough? Definitely. Oh, look, that confidence Pierre was talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our final team tonight. It's the green team, David and Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey and David are tonight's final team. We've seen all of the dancing and now it's time for our judges and our two professional adjudicators to confer and compile their marks for each team. The three teams with the highest scores will return for the final in two weeks' time. So, who goes through? Find out. We're back with results after this.
you. I'm now going to reveal the names of the three teams that are definitely going through to the grand final. And remember, the results are being revealed in no particular order. The first team going through to the final is... place left at that final and that place goes to Votes. The team with the highest number of votes polled over the first two heats will win a wild card place in our grand final. So there's lots at stake tonight. So let's hear it for them. Our second chance dancers are the red team, the white, the yellow, and the pink. <laughs> and while they prepare for the Casa Doble dance off, let's remind ourselves of their performances so far tonight and all the numbers you need to vote. The lines are now open. <laughs> So for the red team who danced the cha-cha-cha, call 09016 161601. The waltz was danced by the white team. To vote for them, call 09016 The yellow team danced the jive. To vote for them, call 09016 And to vote for the pink team who danced the samba, call 09016 16, 16, 0, 4. Calls cost 35 pence from a BT landline. Calls from mobiles and other networks may be higher. Lines close at 7 p.m. on Sunday, so please don't call after then, or you may still be charged. Please make sure you have the bill payers' permission. So, dancing the demanding Casa Doble for your votes at home. It's the red, white, yellow, and pink teams, girls and boys. Give it your best. The floor is yours.
wild card place in the lineup, then please pick up the phones and give them your votes. We'll see you next Saturday from all of us here. Good night. One additional team from across our two heats will go through to the grand final, so to vote for one of tonight's remaining teams, here's the numbers you need. For the red team, 09016 16 1601. For the white team, call 09016 16 1602. For the yellow team, call 09016 16 1603. And to vote for the pinks, call 09016 16 1604. Calls cost 35 pence from a BT landline, calls from mobiles and other networks.